Coronavirus. Daddy pig. Peppa and her family are watching sport on television. It's coronavirus. It's a new world. Pandemic. <laughs> Mommy, what's a world? Pandemic. It means that you should stop talking before I duct tape your mouth. Then. I will tie you to a fence if you don't stop being annoying. I didn't know your legal name was Mommy too. That's because you don't know anything. No. Yes. Why do I look so ugly in this picture? <laughs> Have you ever even looked at a mirror? What's a mirror? Stop making up words with random letters that you made up. Daddy Pig! You need to go back to kindergarten. Everyone knows that your brain is the size of an atom. It Actually, smaller than that. Really? Yes! Okay. I'll get coronavirus so I don't have to go back to school. Tomorrow! Hooray! But I'll need a bath to get coronavirus quickly. You can also use anyone at our school to get coronavirus very quickly. I only want coronavirus, not Ebola too. Daddy Pig! It's far too late for you. Daddy, are you going to practice jumping up and down? I don't need to tell you anything. What? Is everyone deaf because I clearly said I don't have to tell you anything? Do you need to do running? I don't need to tell you anything. Do you need to do press-ups? I don't need to tell you anything. I to get coronavirus as quickly as possible. It is the day of the big puddle jump. Daddy Pig is wearing his puddle jumping costume. I feel like kicking someone to the moon. You're not capable of kicking anything one inch away. Stop making up words. There is no such thing as an inch. Hello? Grandpa? Do you have a dictionary? Uh, yes. Daddy needs them back urgently. You have been looking after them. Um, they have been watered. Grandpa Pig is growing tomatoes in Daddy's lucky boots. We need them for the puddle jump today. Righto, I'll meet you there. Everyone has come to watch Daddy Pig's puddle jump. Please welcome your friend and mine, Mr. Potato! Break a leg. Daddy Pig! Oh, but where are your lucky boots? <sighs> These are fakes. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. I can smell tomatoes. And now... We waste our time because we have nothing better to do. Daddy Pig is thinking. Ready, steady. <laughs> the puddle has gone. <laughs> the puddle has gone over all of us. Daddy Pig can't even jump right due to his very low IQ. It's a new world record. Hooray! That outfit makes you look even uglier. And who is this? Your mom. I think my dad looks uglier than a 1,000-year-old frog that's been in a bath for 10 hours. Ah, to be trained by the master. What have you learned? Uh... 200 digits of pi and the periodic table of elements. <laughs> <laughs> Virus. Peppa and George are playing with <laughs> and Pedro Pony. Here are Rebecca and Richard Rabbit. Who said you could come? I 
don't care about asking for permission. You should have at least asked for permission to be so ugly. At least I make an effort to have a brain. Ooh. Has she eaten too much? Unlike you, she hasn't eaten a car. Mummy rabbit? Do you have coronavirus? Yes. The baby will get coronavirus too. Yes, please. Can you mind your business? Yes, I can. I am also a liar. Yes. It is very obvious. Nay. What will you call it? I don't know. Do you think I don't know is a good name? Yes. Hello, Mummy Rabbit. Would you like a cup of coffee? I already have coronavirus. I don't need Ebola too. You do have Ebola, right? Yes, we do. Then get me out of here. We need to make sure that the baby gets coronavirus. Yes. If the baby is a girl, she'll be called Rachel Rabbit. Or how about... Ruth Rabbit. Roxanne Rabbit. Karen. I don't think so, Pedro. Karen. Sounds wrong. I like Rosie. Rosie Rabbit. I'd rather call her Karen. But what if the baby is a boy? Oh. How about... I don't know. Coronavirus. Robbie Rabbit. I'd rather call him coronavirus. Thank you for the potatoes with jelly, cheese and strawberry jam, Mummy Pig. They had coronavirus. We thought of a name for the baby. Karen. If it's a girl, and coronavirus. if it's a boy. They're lovely names. It's sad. If the baby doesn't get coronavirus. Oh, my tummy. Stand back. It is going to explode. I don't think so, Daddy Rabbit. The baby is coming! Why should I care at all? Won't panic! Bye! Bye! Good luck! Did you pack everything on the list? Like I said, I don't care at all. Won't panic! Won't panic! Anyone in? We're having a rabbit! Hello, sister. What are you doing here? Don't ever call me your sister again. If you're not my sister, then I will not follow your orders. Can I come too? Moo! I thought you said you didn't care about the baby at all. So get out before I call the FBI. Out of the way, everyone! This woman is giving a baby coronavirus and possibly Ebola. I can't tell. Plenty of towels. I won't be needing these anymore, so I might as well throw them away. Whoa, where shall I put all this stuff? Just eat all of what you bought. What? Squeak Daddy! Are you deaf? Because she clearly said eat all of what you bought. Thanks for not caring about my health. You are very welcome, you ugly rabbit. You must have zero IQ because that was clearly a sarcastic statement. <laughs> It is the next day, and Mummy Rabbit wants to push her babies off her house. Hello! Can we see the twins, please? I wouldn't even trust you with a light switch. <laughs> Are they boys or girls? Get ready for the FBI. They're called Karen and Coronavirus. So you did use both names. Yes! <laughs> Karen and Coronavirus. They're the best names in the world. And we thought of them.